In the case that you want to speed up or slow down the video playback, hit the square brackets on your keyboard and the video's playback will increase or decrease. Another cool thing you might want to try in order to find out how much time is left for the movie that you're watching is click on the time at the bottom right and it will toggle between the time that's left and the total duration of the video. Now, if you go to video and select take snapshot, VLC will take a screenshot of whatever it is that is being displayed in the media player. Normally, the screenshots will be saved in your photos folder, but to change that, go to tools, preferences, video and change the directory under video snapshots. It's also possible to skim through the video frame by frame by hitting E on your keyboard. Now if the movie that you downloaded is in another language, you might be able to change it to English by going to audio, audio track and selecting English. If you can't find your language though, you can try watching with subtitles by going to subtitle, subtrack and choosing a subtitle track. Pressing Shift plus V on your keyboard will let you achieve the same thing by cycling through subtitles. What's even better is having the media player in full screen. You probably know that double pressing on the screen or hitting F on your keyboard puts VLC in full screen. However, you can set it to go to full screen automatically when you open up any video. To do that, go to Tools, Preferences, video and under display select full screen. Now if you're doing something else while watching a video, you can right click, select view and choose always on top, which will make VLC hover over all windows that are open on your monitor. It's also not a surprise that if you're sitting far away from subtitles, they might be hard to see. So hold down control on your keyboard and scroll either up or down to increase or decrease the size of subtitles subtitles. Speaking of the scroll wheel, it also lets you increase or decrease the volume if you scroll without holding down anything on your keyboard. And if you like the tips I showed you in this video, what do you know, you might also enjoy this one.